up guys? It's been, uh, it's been a little while since I've last put out a video. Um, I think it's, uh, it's actually been since last year, last December. Um, and I, I apologize about that. I've definitely taken way too long to get another video out. Um, I took time off to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with this channel, where I wanted it to go, and how I was going to do it. And it, it shouldn't have taken me this long, but it did, and hopefully it's for the best. Uh, I'm pretty motivated now uh, to continue to get these videos out, and I have it in my mind where I want this channel to go. Like a clear picture of where I want it to go and what I want to do with it now. I've, I've gotten a lot of motivation um, from other YouTubers that I watch and uh, just I guess myself in general just kicking myself in the butt to get these videos going again. Um, so with that being said I am going to do a video explaining the changes to the channel what's gonna go on um, and it, I guess just what what to expect from this channel from now on but I'm not gonna get all into that in this video uh, this video is meant to just be a simple one to put out there and say, hey guys, I'm still alive. We're still doing this. Um, so, as you can probably see behind me here, I have a motorcycle and another motorcycle over there. So I recently, at the beginning of summer, got that Honda Magna over there. And if you guys remember, I used to have a lifted golf cart in here. I got this on trade, uh, some guy out in like Mansfield, Ohio, uh, wanted to trade this Sportster for that golf cart straight up. So I packed up the golf cart, went out there, I asked him a couple questions before heading out there and uh, it, it kind of seemed like he really didn't know anything about the bike, which kind of had me worried, but at the same time, a bike that may have issues with it is a lot better than a golf cart that just takes up space. And that's how it was for me. And I was like, you know what? As long as it runs and, and drives down the street, I'm gonna pack it up, take it home with me. And it actually turned out to be decent. But, super excited about it. As you can tell, there's it's definitely not a stock sportster anymore. Um, but we'll get into that whole thing later uh, in another video. I'll go over the, all the changes and all that stuff. Anywho. This video is about how to do an oil change on a Harley Sportster. There's so many Sportsters out there. It's gotta be one of the most popular Harleys out besides their baggers. Um, because it's, it's pretty cheap to pick up and it's a Harley. I mean, most people that wanna ride bikes, they initially think Harley and it's one of the cheapest Harleys that you can get. So, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there uh, whether it's you watching this video or you just want to see my face again, but it's probably watching the video for the, the oil change. Um, I'm going to try to show you how to do this as simple as possible. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to get into it. Alright, so first thing that you want to do is obviously get yourself new oil and a filter. Um, I've been a really big fan of Lowbrow Customs. They're pretty close to Cleveland, Ohio. Um, so if you live in Ohio or Michigan or like Pennsylvania, around Ohio, you get these parts, whatever you order from them, in like two days without paying for extra shipping. It's, they've got awesome parts and they get these, whatever you order, to you very, very fast. But I got uh, Pan Am, um, heavy duty motor oil uh, for the Harley and then just average oil filter. Harley Sportsters typically take about two quarts of oil um, but sometimes you need a little more to top it off so when you're gonna go ahead and do this oil change on your Sportster you're gonna wanna buy three quarts of oil just in case. Next things that we're gonna wanna do is locate your oil filter and your drain plug which it's pretty obvious to find your oil filter because it's literally just sitting right there. Uh, the drain plug is a little different on some of these. Uh, this is a 1988 Sportster and my drain plug is right here. It's like connected into 
I don't know, it's like a metal plug that's welded into the battery mount or the battery carrier, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it just, literally just has the hose clamp on there and I just have to get a screwdriver and unscrew it and dump it all out. So after you get your oil plug, your oil cap, whatever you want to call it, out, you're going to want to take your nice little uh, oil drain, oil drain pan, whatever you want to call it, and go ahead and slide it over here. I don't think I mentioned this before, but on the other side, on the uh, the oil tank, the reason that you take that plug out is so it doesn't act as like a vacuum and it allows it to drain properly. Just wanted to throw that in there because I don't think I said it. Um, but here we go. I'm gonna take this, uh, this hose clamp off. Here we go. Okay, so it's done draining. We're gonna get this plug back in here. All right, there we go. It's on there nice and tight. Uh, next comes the farm part. Next thing you gotta do, take the oil filter off. And hopefully this thing is not on here tight as hell. Well, I had to take a quick trip to Harbor Freight to get one of the uh, uh, oil filter wrench things because I didn't have one at home. I don't know if you can see that, but it like expands and you can put your ratchet in there. So hopefully this works. All right, well, after some heavy persuasion, um, finally got it to come loose. So it's just like a, a normal car. Screw the oil filter and it's making a mess. Sweet. The paper towels. Bring new filter. And what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take some of the old oil and lube up the uh, seal. Nice little coating right there. And now we're going to take, screw it on. And when it comes to oil filters, you don't want to put them on stupid tight. Like, a lot of people will sit here and just crank this thing down as hard as they can. What you want is just a nice hand tight. Right about there. Just a nice, nice hand tight. Bam. And then what you're gonna wanna do now is just take a rag and try to clean up as much as possible. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our funnel Gonna uh, pop that right in there. Put two quarts of oil in right away. What does it has got seals on top of it. There. Two quarts of oil. So now what you do, you take the oil plug, pop that bad boy in there, okay? And now you're supposed to start it up and let it cycle for, I don't know, like 30 seconds or something like that. So go ahead and do that. Just need to make sure this is a neutral report.
Yep. So neutral. Alright. Turn the gas on. heard that rattling but I got an exhaust bolt loose down there and we're gonna pop the oil plug again we're gonna check the level try to get this camera to focus all right so if you guys can see that black dot in the middle that's where we want to be in the safe zone we're right at the bottom of the safe zone so we're gonna put I don't know like a quarter of another quart in and see how that uh, see how that turns out. Oh there we go. But the oil is up to that black dot in the middle, so we are good. Just so I can show you guys. The bolt I was talking about is that one on the left. Right there. The lock washer and whatnot came off of it, but it's all set now. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate anyone that came and viewed this video. Every single view matters, and it means a lot to me, um, especially coming back into it. Um, it. It definitely means a lot for you guys watching this. But for now, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me out. Um, our goal, at least my goal, I know I said it last year, uh, is still 100 subscribers. That's the first goal that I want to hit. Um, and all of you guys out there is what is going to make it happen. I know it's been a year because I took that, that time off, but 100 subscribers, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to try to crank out videos as much as possible and hopefully get to a point where I can nail down a schedule of videos. Um, if there's anything that you'd like to see with motorcycles um, or cars or anything really, I mean, I want to stay geared towards engines and vehicles, but I was kind of thinking of like vlogging as well. Um, so if there's anything that you guys want to see, put it down in the comment section below. Uh, and once again, thank you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.